Really nice. I've always been drawn to people. I like drawing out what's really authentic and beautiful in them. Okay, turn a little more sideways. I find everybody's got a story and it's fun to find it so that it's really them coming through. I was at a party and I was talking to a couple that I didn't know and they were telling me about their experience with 23andMe. I thought it sounded really cool. How did I not know about this? Let's just send it in and get it for the whole family. I didn't think about it very seriously. I assumed I knew all about myself and that I actually ended up taking steps that could have potentially saved my life was not what I was thinking I was getting into. I grew up in a pretty well-to-do community, very white, very Christian kind of a place. My mother was from Manhattan. She was a lovely, blonde, glamorous woman. My father was this interesting European man, and that's who I grew up knowing that I was. So when I took the 23andMe test, I discovered that I was 38% Ashkenazi Jew. And I didn't really know what that meant. I didn't know, I knew I was a little Jewish, but I didn't know how much, and I'd never heard of Ashkenazi, or I'd heard the word, but I didn't know what it meant. This was never really spoken about in my childhood. With World War II looming, my grandfather decided to change their name from Epstein to Esten and eliminate their Jewish background. So I open the health report. It says, are you sure you want to know about this? Push the button if you do. And I push the buttons, one, two, three, you know, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and then BRCA. And I knew I wouldn't have any of that. So I just pushed all those buttons and was shocked to see the BRCA thing come up as you have that mutation. Of course, then I went into heavy research mode and I discovered that my odds of getting breast cancer were up to 87%. And my odds of getting ovarian cancer were close to up to 30% in some reports. I went to my doctor I mean, it was my normal physical with her, and I mentioned I had this bracket mutation, and she almost dropped her clipboard. She had me do a much more expensive test. I paid a couple thousand dollars, and they sent it off, and it came back, and it had the same information. It was shocking to me, because I never would have gotten this test taken. No doctor would have asked me to do this because nobody in my family had ever had breast cancer or ovarian cancer. What I found out since is that if you're Ashkenazi Jew, you have a one in 40 chance of carrying a mutation, whereas the whole population is one in 400. It never would have occurred to me. It just wasn't part of our world. And then I had to deal with what my options were. With my doctor's urging, I pretty immediately had my ovaries and fallopian tubes removed because ovarian cancer is really deadly. Every doctor that I spoke to said I could have a preventative double mastectomy, and that was much harder for me. I, I maybe had my head in the sand a little bit, but my husband and my kids and my friends were kind of shaking me saying, you know, wake up. This is serious, and you need to go have surgery. I found out about something that I could actually be proactive on. It was really, really fortunate, and maybe it saved my life to have, on a whim, done that test. <laughs>